What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian and today I'm going to be doing something completely different. We're going to be taking a look at my fitted hat collection. Now typically I record videos about soccer and every video I tend to have a different fitted hat. So I decided to do a fitted hat collection video. Now a couple quick disclaimers before we take a look at my collection. Number one, uh, I only have about 20 or so hats, you know, pretty small collection compared to others. Number two, what I have is what I like. Uh, I have hats that are really loud and I have hats that are really plain. So you're going to see a mixture of both when you guys take a look at this. And lastly, but certainly not least, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more content as well. Click the links below. Make sure you subscribe Do all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the collection. All right. First up, we have this mint angels hat uh, that has your traditional angels logo right in the front there. It has the 50th anniversary patch, uh, has a raised batterman in the back with a little bit of red and mint as well and has a pink under visor with the inside sweatband being white uh, i am a seven and three eighths and i believe this hat is from toppers if i'm not mistaken but let's take a look here let's take a look. nice all right next up we have this orange dodgers hat this is from lids this is part of their candy corn collection has your regular actually has a little bit bigger of a la logo in the front there uh, has your 1980 All-Star Game, and it is a raised batterman as well, with uh, a little bit of yellow, and the under visor is yellow as well, with the white sweatband. Looks pretty good. Uh, everybody hates on lids, but I mean, I had to get this when I saw it, so. Looks good to me. Next up is one of my favorites. We have this green Detroit Tigers hat. Uh, this is the only logo I have like this. Uh, I was a little skeptical at first when I was buying this because the colors were kind of kind of weird. But I'm glad I did because it's just a really nice hat. You see the spring training patch there is metallic like yellow. The back is a flat batterman with a little bit of pink. And it has a pink under visor with a white sweatband as well. So like I said, it's not your traditional color palette. But I think this color fit well and it looks a lot better in person. All right, this next hat is actually relatively new. It is part of the Big League Chew Pack from Lids. This is the Dodgers Blue Raspberry Colorway. Uh, this is a pretty interesting hat. I haven't seen really one like this. It has that blue raspberry embroidery towards the uh, towards the left side of the logo with the Big League Chew pin as well. It has the Big League Chew side patch, their logo there. And on the back, the batterman is rounded, kind of like what they wear on the field today. With a really like a, a neon pink under visor and a blue sweatband, kind of interesting. The lining to the inside of the hat as well is part of the wrapper from the actual gum, so... That's pretty unique. A lot of people don't like the uh, Big League Chew Pack, but I really like it. Like I said, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a pretty unique hat. All right, next up, we have a hat club drop here. This is the Badlands Collection, Colorado Rockies. Uh, you have your traditional Rockies logo. You have the 40th anniversary, 40 years anniversary season, according to the patch here. It came with a couple pins as well. Uh, I normally don't like burgundy hats, but the colors that they use specifically for this collection looks really nice and it has a black sweatband on the inside. So take a look here and it looks great when you're wearing it as well. I mean, just an overall clean hat. Uh, again, the Badlands collection really wasn't one of my favorites, but I mean, this hat I had to get here. All right, next up, we have another Lids collection here. Now, this one is really slept on. This is the Boston Red Sox. It looks like a, a, a dark green mixed with a neon green. Uh, the pin that I have there says no feet. That's from uh, Beetlejuice. Has a 2004 World Series patch right here. And the batterman on the back is raised. And it has another uh, green there mixed with a, like a lighter green. I don't know. Weird choice. But the under visor is a highlighter green with the white inside. Take a look here. Fits well. Nothing, I mean, nothing else really to say. Next up, we have uh, one of my first purchases from Eblins. This is the black Chicago Cubs with the bear logo. I added the Homer pin on the front there. And the side patch is the Wrigley Field 100 Years patch. The bottom is a yellow UV and the inside has a white sweatband. I mean, everybody goes crazy for this logo here and there's a reason for it just looks so clean i think this version especially since it's a black hat i mean just it goes with everything literally i'm just wearing whatever right now and it goes with it so looks pretty clean and it fits true to size which is great all right next up we have my first and only nfl hat is the green bay packers white hat here the side patch is a 1995 hawaii pro bowl patch which looks very nice uh the back is the nfl logo it has that dark green uh texture on it 
and the under visor is also it's not really like a regular green it's like a forest green like dark green looks nice had to get it because my team here and like i said i'm not really crazy about white hats but i mean i really like this the way this one looks just the colors with it as well so there you go all right next up is another recent pickup this is from the ox pack from hat club this is the la dodgers and the side patch is actually their first home los angeles 1958 1961 that's what the patch says here and it has the coliseum i actually didn't even know they played at the coliseum so this is actually pretty interesting uh the colors fit well i have a lot of stuff to match with it and the back is a flat batterman with a all black logo on the inside uh gray under visor and a black sweatband this one actually fits a little bit bigger than i thought uh so i had to put uh one of those spacers in the back so it could fit a little bit snug the next hat here is actually my first hat that i got with a colored under visor it is the tampa bay rays in a navy blue colorway uh you see the i just put a, a nemo pin there just because they're the rays <laughs> and uh we got the 10 seasons uh this patch has uh like a stitching that goes on the outside looks kind of weird uh, but again, like I said, it was my first, my first fitted. So raised batterman on the back has the Navy and the pink with the white inside and the under visor is also pink. This one's actually really tight. Don't know why, but actually don't even know where this hat is from. I completely forgot, but a little, little too snug here, even though it's a seven, three, eight, my size, but yeah, still looks good. This next one's actually right up there with my favorites. This is a baby blue angels hat and the side patch it has a 1989 all-star game the california angels I, I put that blue yeti from uh from disneyland when i went got that pin so i had to put it on there match perfectly the back has a flat batterman with a black and silver logo there the bottom has a gray under visor with a white sweatband and just just take a look i mean look at this fits perfect everything about it just goes well it's one of my favorites here. I believe uh, my buddy got it for me from Capsule. Next up, we have another hat from the Big League Chew Collection. This is the LA Dodgers, and it, I believe this is just called the original, just because it's like the original Big League Chew. But take a look. There has some embroidery on the right side of the logo with the Big League Chew pin and the Big League Chew side patch as well. Now, this is my, my only hat that has pinstripes on the top of the hat. You see the back there has the rounded uh, gold batterman. Um, and the undervisor, actually, this is what made me get the hat, actually. The undervisor has that bright green there, so it looks good. Again, just like the other one, the inside has the lining, just like from the wrapper. And like I said, this is my only hat with the pinstripes, and I think it looks pretty clean, especially with that Dodgers logo. You can't really go wrong. Next up, we have a hat from Topper Store. It is the Seattle Mariners hat here. All black hat with the old Mariners logo and the 40th anniversary patch. Black, blue, yellow, can't really go wrong with the green under visor as well white inside just an overall really good hat just take a look at that just looks so clean there this next hat is also from lids uh, i'm not really too sure what the collection is but la dodgers again can't go wrong with that logo there uh, has like this brownish tan like i said I, i'm not sure what collection this is from but i put the gold pin on there it matches really well with the 50th anniversary of dodgers stadium the raised batterman in the back with a metallic gold lining there and a cream under visor. I just really like the uh, stitching that they use on the side patch that it's metallic. Just looks really nice, makes the makes the hat pop. This next hat is also from Toppers. This is the San Diego Padres 50th anniversary hat. This hat is all black, has the yellow logo there, has some orange on the side patch as well. The back has a flat batterman with orange and yellow, so it makes the that orange accent pop. And the under visor is also yellow here with a white sweatband. This hat is actually so tight i'm not sure why it's my size but i'm gonna have to stretch it out but just fits super snug so i'm gonna have to stretch that out just to make it a little bit bigger but this is actually a gift from my friend geo so shout out to you really appreciate it this next hat i actually wear probably the most this is my uh angels hat this is the traditional angels logo here i put the uh homer pin on there this is their 50th anniversary patch uh all red with the white accents the back is a raised batterman with white and silver and it has a pink under visor. And like I said, I wear this one all the time just because it's only really the only red hat that I have and I wear a lot of red. So looks pretty clean to me. Next up, we have another hat club drop here. This is from the Badlands collection as well. This is the other colorway here. Uh, this is the California Angels with the 40th anniversary patch and it has the pin on the side there. The back is a flat batterman with a peach uh, color and the black sweatband as well as a peach under visor. I actually originally ordered the Angels hat in a campfire collection from Hat Club, but somebody stole my package and this was the collection that came after that. So 
this is this is the free hat or, or free hat that I got from that so I wish I had that campfire but I guess this one will do and another funny thing is ironically of course the campfire collection sold out and then this one is the collection that came right after that and of course these were the, this was the collection that was sitting on hat club the longest so it is what it is but I mean still still a pretty nice hat next up we have another lids drop here this is the crown royal uh, LA Dodgers and this is so slept on this metallic uh, stitching that they use here on the logo I put the uh, the Homer the Grim Reaper Homer on there we have the hundredth anniversary uh, side patch here 1890 to 1990 with the raised batterman and again that that stitching that they use for that metallic gold just so nice under visor is great as well so has they has that darker purple on there with the white sweatband like I said, man, this is just so slept on. You can actually probably go to lids right now and might find some of these lingering there, but so slept on, so nice. Next up, we have another Dodgers here. This is the Mocha collection from lids, and I promise you uh, there probably isn't a lot of these sitting, at least where I am. Uh, these sold out very quick. My friend actually hooked it up with this and the Crown Royal hat as well. Shout out to Moses. Matter of fact, before I even go any further, go subscribe to my friend's channel there. He actually has a ton of fitted hats, so if you're into that, Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the link right up here. Go do that. He has amazing content, amazing hats. Go check him out. All right, now back to this hat here. It is the uh, Mocha. It has the brown colorway with the like the cream stitching on there with the 50th anniversary patch. It has a raised batterman on the back there with a cream or like a off-white type of uh, undervisor. I'm not really too sure, but any brown hat looks pretty nice. And uh, before they're a lot more exclusive, now there's brown hats going left and right, but. They all look good. Next up, we have another Angels hat here with the iconic Wings logo, one of the best logos in the MLB ever. Uh, put the little Bart Simpson match perfectly with the hat. Another 50th anniversary side patch with a flat batterman on the back. Reminds me of that Hornets colorway with a green undervisor. Just makes everything so good. Another one of my favorites here. Don't wear it too often because I don't have a lot of purple, but still one of my favorites. Next up, we have another hat from Toppers, and this was assist by my friend Moses. This is the Colorado Rockies 25th anniversary season hat in a navy blue colorway with a baby blue accent. We take a look at the patch here, 1993 to 2018, the 25th season with a flat batterman on the back with that baby blue accent and a white sweatband. Uh, this one fits me pretty big. Look, look, look at the difference. Look at this. These are both 7 and 3 eighths. Look. This one fits nice, fits perfect, right? I can barely put my finger in there, right? Nice and snug. This one... Same size, by the way. Look at this. Look at this. I can almost, I can almost put my two fingers and stretch it out. I don't know why this one's so big. Like it can go, it can go over my ears too. Look. I mean, if you think about it, it's just like shoes, right? Not all shoes fit the same. These, these are all the same size, but for whatever reason, they don't fit the same. Next up, we have another hat club drop here. This is part of the fitted female collection. My, uh, my only Montreal Expos hat here. And the side patch is the All-Star Game from 1982. This is more like a yellow color with pink, white, and blue. Uh, not your ideal color palette, but the back of the hat doesn't have a batterman. It actually has the Canadian flag with the pink accents as well with a pink undervisor and a white sweatband. This hat is just, you wouldn't think that the colors uh, match very well, but I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, hat looks nice and clean and I mean really majority of the hat club drops are gonna be nice So doesn't surprise me that this one is not bad And for the last hat is the hat that I was actually wearing in the beginning of the video It is the Toronto Blue Jays in a brown colorway with the pink accents You got the 30th anniversary side patch here a flat batterman with the pink accent and pink undervisor Just everything looks so clean and I believe this is from toppers So make sure you go ahead and check that out probably the best hat store if I'm gonna be quite honest, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what hats are your favorite out of my collection. Let me know which ones are probably the most slept on. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. I do have a couple hats on the way, so I'm going to be doing some unboxings as well. But with all that being said, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.